Hello again and welcome to MMOFTW. I'm Bill Murphy, your slightly annoying and oddly large-headed host on this little adventure through the MMO week that was. I hope you're ready for a good belly full of news because this week the secret world became a lot less secret, Funcom secured the rights to a blocky IP, the Old Republic got a new set of content, Wildstar gave us details on its fighting ways, and a little game that no one's ever heard of ever finally solidified its release date. Plus, we'll talk about the death or possible near-death of raiding. All this, and I'll try to do it while sounding a little bit less like Casey Schreiner. This is MMO FTW. Though the head start has been running smoothly since Friday, June 29th, the official launch of Funcom's The Secret World is this Tuesday, July 3rd. We've got an in-game guild running on the Grimm server. Uh, we're going Templar, but we also have one coming up for Dragon and one for the Illuminati as well. You can head over to the guild recruitment forums on MMORPG.com or just shoot me an email at editor at MMORPG.com for more details. We'd love to have you. And don't forget to grab your MMORPG-flavored t-shirt from the giveaway page, too. It's got a bright, shiny logo. It comes in black and white. And all the chicks really dig it, from what I hear. Uh, also this week, Funcom announced that it's acquired the rights to make a LEGO minifig MMO in the wake of the closure of NetDevil's LEGO universe. The video we're showing you here is not from the aforementioned closed game, um, but it's not indicative of what Funcom's MMO might be like either. Still, we're talking about Legos. That alone is an awesome premise, and I really hope somebody can get it right this time. We covered Rift's 1.9 Conquest update in the previous show, but it's not the only game that's had a significant patch recently. Last week saw the patching of the Old Republic as Bioware launched its 1.3 game update, Allies. A slew of new features, including a much-needed group finder, some new legacy perks, and a bunch of other little upgrades all made their way to the live server. It's not the most meaty of content updates, but we'd be lying if we said these weren't the most necessary additions to the game. Head over to www.swtor.com for more details. The Wildstar Online team continued to show more and more of its game as Carbine Studios released yet another video this past Wednesday from the Alpha. This time it highlighted group combat, and you can see in the video just how Wildstar will be using a skill shot system in its combat for everything from attacks to heals, buffs, debuffs, you'll really need to focus on positioning. And it's, it's definitely nice to see more and more games taking a new approach to MMO action. If you want to see the full video, all you have to do is head over to wildstaronline.com. Lastly, and probably most surprising, <laughs> or not, for the news, a little game you might have heard about finally got its release date this past week. I don't know if you guys have heard this, but apparently uh, ArenaNet's Guild Wars 2 will be launching on August 28th, 2012. Pre-purchasers will get in on the 25th, and folks who have pre-ordered but not paid in full will get in on August 27th. I hope, hope, unlike me, you didn't book a vacation that's non-refundable and far away from any gaming PC the week after. Tyria or Jamaica, which would you choose? I mean, honestly, I could, I could probably RP as like an Asura or something while I'm down there and start hitting a bunch of Jamaicans with a stick, but they might not like it. So let's wrap things up then uh, with our community spotlight touching on a very serious question. Is raiding dead? Personally for me, it was never very alive. I've always found the mechanic to be an antiquated system brought over from EverQuest to World of Warcraft and given far too much credence as a solution to the endgame problem. That said, I highly doubt that the new hotness of persistent PvP, which itself is just a resurging uh, mechanic from Dark Age of Camelot, will be the end-all be-all. These things are cyclical, and I don't think raiding is dead. It just needs to be reinvented by some team who knows how to make a stale system fun again, and preferably without the gear treadmill. Until then, I'll gladly enjoy this wave of three-faction PvP goodness because, well, I was a Hibernian. That's it for this week. Don't forget to follow us at MMORPGcom on YouTube, Twitch.tv, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great week. 
Try not to get frustrated by the Morse code puzzle in the secret world, and as always, don't let a bad pug get you down.